Right now, more than 100 veterans are on the trip of a lifetime. It really is. They're in Washington, D.C. with Heartland Honor Flight. KMBC 9's Matt Evans is live in Washington for the trip. Hey, you talk about a trip of a lifetime, not only for these veterans, but everybody involved in this Heartland Honor Flight. This uh, now my fourth flight, my fourth time able to go on this. Just what an honor it is to, to spend the day with some of these veterans and to hear their stories and to hear what they went through to protect our country. Uh, this is a pretty tired group of uh, veterans today. We talked a lot about World War II veterans and about the welcome here at uh, Reagan at 5 o'clock, but this uh, Heartland Honor Flight also had a lot of Korean War veterans and Vietnam War veterans along for the trip as well. This is all 40 of the Korean War veterans that are on this Heartland Honor Flight. This memorial bringing back a lot of memories for them, the realness of what they saw in Korea during their time. It brings tears to your eyes. It means that uh, we weren't forgotten. It means a whole lot to me, believe me, because I went through some of the worst of it. I went through Bloody Ridge, Heartbreak Ridge, May Massacre, one right after another. For the Vietnam veteran, this trip is very special just to have people say thank you for your service, thank you for what you've done for our country. Because when they got back from Vietnam, that was not always the case. There was very little recognition, and I think it's, I think this memorial really means something to the nation as well as just to the veterans. Some of my friends are names are on the wall, and that very easily could be any of us at that era. It's just an honor to be here and honor the names on that wall. We were lucky, me and my brother were there. We both came back. The real heroes are down there on that wall. They gave it all. Really just an absolutely amazing experience here and uh, getting to talk with each and every one of these uh, veterans today has been an absolute uh, treat for, for me and our photojournalist Tim Twyman on one of these Heartland Honor Flights. We're going to talk to John White here real quick. Uh, John's a World War II veteran. You look a little worn out, John. I'm tired. <laughs> I tell you, I never saw so many people I'd never met before who were so courteous. Really, it, it really impressed me. What does that mean uh, to you and, and the rest of the veterans on this trip? Well, if I'd known I was going to get this kind of reception, I think I, I'd have fought a little harder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I want to tell you one thing, and I want to shake your hand. Well, we're here to shake your hand, sir. I want to shake your hand, I want to tell you I'm going to be the first man to tell you this. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> If you can tell, even though they're tired, they still got some energy here. <laughs> this is just an amazing trip. We are getting ready to take off here at Reagan National Airport. It's still going to be a little while, while longer. We haven't loaded the plane yet, uh, but we will be arriving to Kansas City sometime around uh, 930 or 10, hopefully. So uh, you can bet there's going to be a lot of people out at uh, KCI tonight. Terminal C, Gate 79. Everybody's welcome to come out and, and show up to cheer on these veterans as they get back from this Heartland Honor Flight. There will be uh, probably more than a thousand people out there uh, giving these veterans the uh, welcome home that they truly, truly deserve. Yes. For now, we're live in Washington, D.C. Matt Evans, KBC 9 News. All right, great job, Matt. Have a safe trip home. We'll see you at KCI. And you can send more veterans to D.C. by donating to the Heartland Honor Flight. It's already taken hundreds of veterans on a one-day trip. Just donate at KNBC.com. Click 9 can help.